sports, sports, sports talk zone. All right, let's move on to the Champion League now, Mikhail. Pep Guardiola has finally done it. He has bring a Champions League trophy to Manchester City, beating Inter Milan 1-0. Tell me what you think about Pep and his Manchester City team for the Champions League final. Well, going into this game, um, Manchester City was heavily favoured. I'm sure a lot Even. of persons... <laughs> a lot of persons thought that this was possibly going to be a walkover for them, but oh, Inter had other plans for them. Inter defended really well, played very well in terms of keeping Man City at bay because Man City did have the best of game. There was a lot of sloppy passes. Um, even Jack Grealish said it after the game. They played. He played like crap. I heard um, injury to. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne affected the game as well. So, but um, at the end of the day, I would have said it. Manchester City will come out on top. Um, it was a beautiful goal by Rodri, and how that goal even came about, you can saw that it wasn't Man City being able to break down Inter. It was just that scrappy and then he just took that shot right at the top of the 18 there and it was very 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 scrappy game ugly game in terms of how we used to see man city playing that beautiful pass it breaking down teams that was never them in this game and i i'll just put it to as i said interdefensive how they set up and broke down man city game but man city players themselves were sloppy with the ball but yeah pep winning the treble Second, second time around to, in his career doing it well, at two different clubs. Second manager to ever win the treble as a Premier League manager. A, with the great Sir Alex Ferguson. So I don't know if that will bump him up in your books. Will you give him credence <laughs> to saying that he is the <laughs> current best manager or even the best manager of all time? <laughs> no one question Pep ability to manage some of the best players in the world <laughs> one question <laughs> what people question is ability to manage players that are not so great that's it that's it and and and, and what i'll say is pep the best manager right now you'll have to say yes based on the fact that most managers are measured with trophies silverware and he has done the best in that category so he will he will he will be seen as the best in that sense but if you want to break it down to like what type of team he's using to do um what are you shaking there what type of team he's using to get these trophies nine out of ten not even nine out of ten times ten out of ten times these t these teams are cut above every other team and I, I'm sure you have seen managers have star-studded teams and did True. not achieve their desired results. And this right? is why, and this is why I also say that I respect him as a very good manager because he know how to use quality players to get the results that he want. He used them and he wins so you can't complain about that in other cases you can have we see it with chelsea where chelsea buy all the top players they could possibly find to buy and still wasn't getting any result the fact that pep can put a team with all the greatest players in the world together and find a way to let them play together and win trophies it's an extraordinary thing so respect to pep same way but greatest manager ever that's a stretch better than Klopp <laughs> is he better than Klopp yes I will never say that so I don't even know why you asked it, that question <laughs> I will never say that what I will always say is that Klopp has beaten Pep more than and Pep has beaten Klopp that's, that's 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 where I stand with that what if we go down that road tonight <laughs> <laughs> All right. 